Waterboarding. You heard me right. It's waterboarding, a notorious interrogation technique used to crack prisoners and get them talking. But what exactly is waterboarding? Fox's own Steve Harrigan wanted to find out. He joins us from New York. Steve, what is this? Well, so many people have been talking about waterboarding over the past couple of weeks. Is it torture? Should the U.S. use it? We left those questions on the side and just really tried to look at what exactly it is. Working with Major Bob Bevilacqua and two of his colleagues, here's what we found. down here and then I couldn't catch breath and I felt water fill my nose and my mouth and within like three seconds I wanted out of there. We want to give you that sensation of drowning. Close your mouth. Now the only place he can breathe is through his nose and we're going to fill that with water. not too bad. Two was a little scary. I don't know how many numbers these guys got, but we'll see. We got a lot. All right. I'm starting not to like these guys in their black masks. I expect I'll tap out pretty soon here because I'm scared. Phase three is when they put that saran wrap over your mouth. It's really scary, and the interrogator said it's more about fear than pain. Just seeing them tear that saran wrap off when they're about to put it over your face, it really gets you scared. And you can imagine people who go through this day in, day out, uh, you really learn you can crack pretty quickly. And what I was reading, Steve, is that it seems that there's sort of a time when most people crack, how much they can endure. What's, sort of, you know, what's the longest anyone can endure these things? Greta, there's no hard science on this. Some people say a couple minutes is about as long as you go. But the thing that really impressed me was just how quickly you can recover. I mean, they took me to the brink where I was ready to submit, tell them anything within minutes. And then just minutes later, I was standing by the side of that pool feeling fine. So as far as torture goes, at least in this controlled experiment, to me, this seemed like a pretty efficient mechanism to get someone to talk and then still have them alive and healthy within minutes. All right, Steve. Well, I'm glad uh, this was your project and not mine. Um, fascinating. Thank you, Steve. Thanks.